the end of the day on the campaign trail today. It's still good, long, hard days. I'm still working very hard. Only four weeks and one day, and so I'm working as hard as I possibly can. I was going to say working harder than ever, but I've been working very hard. It'd be hard to think of me being able to work any harder. So I am working incredibly hard, and I'll keep doing that right up until election day. And then if I am successful, I'll work just as hard again for this next four years and hopefully then be in a good position to stand for election again. Today I started off the day in Dubbo, had a meeting with some people in Dubbo just to talk about a range of initiatives that uh, we can implement if I am successful in being elected on the 23rd of March. And then I went off to Wellington I had some meetings in Wellington. One of those meetings was a follow-up meeting. I met with some people previously in Wellington and one of those particular people wanted a follow-up meeting just to see uh, how we could further develop and, and delve deeper into some of the issues that we talked about. Some of those issues around employment and how you get people off the welfare cycle and people that have been long-term unemployed, how we get those into employment. And, and I think employment is a, is a really good way to break that employment uh, or that welfare cycle. Also a way to in increase the self-esteem of people and to break some of that crime that we're seeing down there. Of course, as with every conversation in Wellington, crime came up as a major issue again and 24-hour policing certainly became a, a topic of discussion today. 24-hour uh, police stations, I suppose, is, is a more accurate way to, to talk about that and that's something I've certainly said that I'll push very hard for and, and I think we can get 24-hour police station in Wellington. I then had a meeting in Narromine, so I came back through Dubbo, went on Narromine, had a brief meeting there with, with someone that wanted to catch up with me, just about a couple of little minor issues, and then went out to Trangy and I wanted to catch up with some people in Trangy, in particular the Trangy Local Aboriginal Land Council. I caught up with the CEO Terry and the chairperson Di there, and I think the Trangy Local Aboriginal Land Council does an excellent job, and I think it's, it's one of those organisations that you get some good people in there, you've got a good board, you've got some good governance in place, and I think governance is really important. And what you do is you get great outcomes for it. from it. The Cultural Centre is a great example of that. And I first saw the Cultural Centre back in 2017 when Tour de Rock, the charity bike ride that I created back in 2013, we rode through and stopped at the Cultural Centre. We had a, a luncheon function there outside the Cultural Centre, but the bike riders and myself went through and had a good look at the Cultural Centre and we were all blown away by just how impressive it was there. I have been out to the Cultural Centre since then on the campaign trail, but Trangy is a place, and I've said this before, some of those small communities, they've got a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm, and I think punch well above their weight. So congratulations to the people of Trangy, and in particular the local Aboriginal Land Council. Uh, so I caught up with a couple more people there in, in Trangy, had a, a few other meetings there, uh, caught up with some people uh, around uh, the, the, the Go and Water Hole there. I, I think it's an interesting spot to show the impact of the drought that we're currently in and just to, to see how sad that looks at the moment compared to what it normally looks like. Uh, and then drove back through to Dubbo, uh, had one last meeting in Dubbo to finish off the day and then uh, and that's the end of the day for the day. Tomorrow I'm at the uh, both Golgong, I've got my volunteers in Golgong, at the markets there in Golgong and then I'll personally be in Wellington with some of my volunteers. I've got a, an early morning meeting at 7am in Wellington but then I'm straight on to the markets after that and then I've got a, a few activities tomorrow afternoon back around the Dubbo area. This has been Matthew Dickerson, your independent voice.